Good morning, Hopkins teachers. It's going to be a steamy one on July 3rd, which is making it nice for me to sit and record video tutorials at Hopkins High School in the air-conditioned media center. Too bad I can't earn vitality bucks by sitting on my butt doing this. All right, um, inevitably, one of the things you're going to do in your Moodle course is you're going to want to link to an existing file. That you have. Um, in many cases this would be like a Word, uh, Microsoft Word document, perhaps a PowerPoint, although um, there are some quirky things about PowerPoint. But uh, if you're going to upload and link to a file, um, the one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that it's accessible to the individuals that are going to download it. So um, you should know that um, not everybody owns Microsoft Office, so not everybody has the software to open a PowerPoint or to open a Word document. So first things first, you want to make it accessible. There's two good ways to do that, either convert it to a PDF or upload it to um, Google Docs and make it a public web page and then you can link to it. So my second tutorial will be the Google part, but right now I'm just going to show you how to upload and link to files and how you can cluster them in folders. So I'm on Mr. Ingham's second grade page at Gatewood and I am going to add unit one spelling lists that are already in uh, PDF, so I've converted them already or they've been converted. I probably didn't do it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn editing on and one thing to notice is that you, um, this is a two column page because I have no columns in the right hand side. Again, we will be increasing the width of the left hand column when we get our new theme. And maybe we have a new theme by the time you listen to this. Who knows? All right, so I want to add a file or a set of files to this spelling block. So I'm going to click on add a resource. I want to link to a file. And in this case, it's going to be, um, these are all unit one spelling less. So boy, I can't even remember the name of these. I'll have to go look real quick. Okay, unit one spelling. Oh, okay, so week one, week two, week three. So unit one, week one spelling list. That's my first one. And right now I don't want to put any sort of a description in there and it looks like a required field so I'm going to copy and paste that in there. I want to add a file and this is one that's not in Moodle yet so I have to upload it. So I click on upload a file. If I click browse that means look on my computer for this file. And then you have to on the left hand side you have to find your desktop assuming that's where it is or you'd look in your documents folder wherever you have it saved. So this is um, spelling list. So I need to find it. I have a lot of crap on my desktop. Will I find it without boring you? There it is, unit one spelling. And I am going to choose that file. Now I have really good news. Um, very soon you are going to be able to drag and drop files right into your Moodle page, which will reduce about seven clicks here. Can't do that yet. I will re-record a video when that's possible. You choose a license. Um, this is if you would um, like to share um, with other individuals, um, not for money-making purposes, but you could also put other here. So you're going to upload the file and now um, you're going to want to go down here. And one of the things I like to choose is force download because if you do that, then if somebody clicks on it, it just automatically without any other clicking goes down and saves to their computer. So I'm going to save and return to the course and you'll see what this looks like. Now by default it will go to the bottom of the block that you put it on. If you hover over the crosshair, you can see it right there. Click on it, you can drag it up so it's um, located in the spot that you want it. Now I'm going to do a second one and then I'm going to show you how to um, put these in a folder because really what you could do is you could cluster all of the unit one spelling list. Okay, I actually let's do the folder first. So I'm going to say unit one spelling list and I could add more detailed description but I'm not a second grade teacher so I don't know what to say. 
and I'm going to add a file to that. And now I think if I go to server files and then I go to view as list, I could find that file. And I can click on it and because I, I want it inside that folder. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to save and return to the course. So now I'm going to drag and drop this up. I have a folder. If I click on it, inside of it is the file along with the description at the top, which could be more detailed. However, oops, okay. However, now that I have the folder, I don't need the file displayed. So when I actually delete this file, it doesn't remove it from Moodle, it just removes it from being displayed there, but it's still inside this folder. So what if I wanna add more files inside of this folder? Really easy, because what I can do is click on the configure or the update button, and I could just go down here and I could just add them one at a time. And again, you'll be able to drag and drop um, at a later date as soon as we get that plugin installed. So you click browse. I'm looking for a week two and I'm going to upload this file and I'm going to add another one. Browse. I got week three and I'm going to upload this file. Oh, it's going lickety split. Now the only other thing I want you to keep in mind is if you do create a folder with a bunch of files inside of it, be sure to have a naming convention so that when people download or look at these files within the folder, they don't all look completely kittywampus with no sensible names, but they it completely make sense by looking at them. So as long as the folder is called spelling list and then I have the unit in the week, I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to save and return to the course. And now I'm going to show you what this looks like from the perspective of a student. So I'm going to switch my role in my settings to student. And now I'm going to click on spelling list and bada bing. That's what it looks like. And again, you are more than welcome to add something to the description. Um, maybe you'd even want to do something like link to Spelling City in there. Um, because I know Mr. Ingham, just as an example, he has all his spelling lists in Spelling City. So for homework or for practice, a student um, could practice any of these tests online through that link. And so maybe that would be a posting that would be above um, each of these documents. Anything that you think is going to enrich the content or provide opportunity for reinforcement, I think is a great thing to include there. All right, hope you enjoyed that tutorial.